There's no doubt about it. When it comes to chest, barbell bench press is king. It is probably the most popular lift in the gym. It is so well known that even people who don't lift will ask how much you bench to find out how strong you are. There's no question that it's good, but maybe it's not the best. I've been doing dumbbell bench press as my primary foundational exercise for chest for decades. There are a few very good reasons why. The biggest drawback, even danger of the barbell bench press is the need for a spotter. Usually you can get a pretty good spot like this one, but sometimes they'll leave you down there dying or grab the bar before you even get it out of the rack. With dumbbell bench, you don't need a spotter. If you can't complete the lift, you simply put the weight down. I train alone, and this is a big plus for me. Another issue that's pushed me away from barbell bench is the need to have your hands line up with the bar. It creates a lot of pressure in my wrists, my elbows, and shoulders, and now my thumbs, and that has gotten worse as I've gotten older. That's why I use a suicide grip. A suicide grip means my thumbs don't wrap around the bar. It's supposedly prone to the bar falling out of your hands. Recently, there have been bars made intended to address the positioning of the hands. They have handles that are at an angle. It's a good idea. In theory, this should reduce the stress on the wrists, the elbows, and the shoulders owing to a more neutral hand position. Unfortunately, they're very hard to find. I've been in four gyms in the last year, and this is the closest I've seen. And as you can tell, this is more perpendicular to the line of bar than at an angle. And I've used it a couple of times, and my experience is it's not a solution for the problem, at least not in this configuration. It does little to address the issue. It's awkward, it's clumsy, and pretty difficult to use. Of course, even if you're lucky enough to have a gym that has such a bar, it will not duplicate the fact that the dumbbells require each arm to operate independently. This works to correct the fact that the dominant side of the body is usually stronger and develops greater stabilization strength. And it's not just that dumbbells allow you to hold the weight in any position that is comfortable. Dumbbells allow you to change that position during the lift, literally during a rep. That is something that no barbell can possibly match. Unfortunately, it's not all good news. As with everything, there are trade-offs. Unlike with the barbell bench press, dumbbells cannot be taken out of a rack. You have to manhandle them into position. The fact that each arm is independent of the other, which helps with the stabilization strength and balancing strength left and right, also makes dumbbells more difficult to learn. There are ways to make some of this easier. Obviously, it's best to have the dumbbells near the bench you're going to be using. If they're too far away, I'll sometimes put them on the bench so it's easier to pick them up. At other times, I'll put them on the rack in front of the bench. This can be on top of other dumbbells, or you can move the dumbbells that are there and put the bigger ones in their place. Just remember to put everything back when you're done. Either way, you don't want to be dragging them around right before you're set. Once you pick them up, back up to the end of the bench. Shrug the dumbbells forward as you sit so the end of the dumbbells are against your thighs. You should end up sitting on the bench with the dumbbells upright on your thighs. I always lean and kind of curl forward just before laying back. You want to roll back onto the bench, not flop down. When you're doing this, you'll be bringing the dumbbells with you. You want to do this fast enough that you can slide the dumbbells up your body so they're at your chest level, but not so fast that they get out of control. I generally put the dumbbells down when I finish a set. I don't like to have to try and get up with them when tired, but if you want to, then tip them back a little bit on your last rep, and then as you kick your legs to sit up, you roll them with you and you'll stand up. So that's the dumbbell bench press, and I think I can safely say from my own experience that it is an excellent strength and mass exercise for the chest that offers a slightly different take on the classic barbell bench press. It's usually easier to accommodate restrictions in your shoulders or elbows and easier to do on your own. I would definitely recommend everyone give it a try, but the aging athlete in particular.